like I watched him on stage. He had a guy take his shirt off, kind of embarrassed the dude. And he's like, he inspired a lot of people, but I feel like he might have crushed some souls. I want you to inspire that. But I would say in between that, I think people need to see the man you become. I just want to stay back, stay in that shit by my shoulder because they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be swinging on till the hits coming on. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I want to talk to you about how I built a legendary brand. By the way, I'm gonna tell you this the news kind of faded out, right? You'll notice, like, people used to watch the news. The news was like, ah, uh, like what everybody said on the news was what everybody did. And then COVID happened, and the people learned that the news was just something that the people said their agenda, what they were told to say, and now people aren't really watching the news. And they're all watching social media. Now, to have a social media brand is massive. Number one, to have a brand, your face would stand out in a crowd. If I go to the airport, I literally have five, 600 people that'll stop me. If I go to the mall, I have two or 300 people stop me. So I want to ask you a question. Does everybody know who you are, what you do, how great you are, what you do and where you're at? Does your face stand out? in a crowd. Do you want to attract more clients? Who's the face of your brand? Sure, there's businesses, but each business normally and generally has somebody that's the face of the brand. Is that you? Okay. Now, by the way, you may work for an automotive dealership. I'm just giving an example, but you're the face of the service of the automotive dealership. Your brand is you. If people like you, they'll buy at that place from you. Does that make sense? It's not the brand that this is the place. You're the brand. I believe in the next five, six years, and I can only tell you because I am actually living proof of what a brand can do for your business. Okay, I get hundreds of millions of views every single month on five different channels. And I can tell you the greatest thing that I can contribute to my success, anything in my life I can tell you is building a brand. It was the greatest thing I did five years ago. By the way, I still train to get better and I still do it every single day. Now, I wanna give you the three steps to how to build a brand, okay? And the things that I did that I think maybe helped me level up, I want you to look at your brand. Who do you wanna be? to the world, what do you wanna stand for, what are your core values, what are your standards? And everything you need to do, I need you to create a brand box. What does that mean? That means what are the colors of your brand? What are the way that you make people feel in your brand? What does your company do? What does it do for people? How does it help people? I wanna teach you how to generate and, and, and get clients. By the way, coaching has probably been one of the greatest things that I've ever done in my life to teach me how to do things that I'm not currently doing. Right now, as I talk to you, I'm trying to teach you to, so you can think like and, and just study my brand on how I crushed it and killed it and how I'm doing it today on maybe some things that you can take into your life um, and I'm gonna coach you, okay? Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins, they started training me back in 2019 when I went from being an intrapreneur to an entrepreneur and I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, there's so many things I don't know and don't be afraid to learn these things. Don't be afraid to change. If you wanna change on this video, your goal is to physically change, change your values, change your life. You don't want to watch the video, hear some information and go, oh, that's good. And then maybe change for a second and then change back because then you'll never change. So our goal is we're going to make this video where you'll physically change. It'll change your entire life. So let me go over some three things that I did in my company that really helped me a lot. Number one, I started to choose physical fitness. Why? Because I wanted to separate myself from the rest. There was this book I read. It was called a linchpin and it said, there's a revolution coming up and that means a radical change. And it said, people need to stand out. We're in an era where people need to stand out. They need to be different and they need to make relationships that others can't. And I thought about that and I go, man, if we're in a world right now where 60 to 70% of the people are overweight, they're obese, they don't take care of their health, all this, I'm like, man, dude, one of the ways I could stand out by was by getting physically fit. So when I did that, when I became physically fit and I started to choose fitness, number one, I started to look different. I'm gonna tell you this, I said I was gonna get up at every morning at 5 a.m. When I did that and I got up at 5 a.m. when I said I was gonna get up, guess what happened? I became more confident, I had more self-esteem, I had more self-belief, why? Well, number one, I looked in the mirror and I started to change slowly over what I looked like. Also, I kept my word to myself and I actually did what I said I was going to do. I want you to write that down. If I want more self-esteem, more self-belief, more self-confidence, how do you get it? Just do what you say you're going to do. And when you do that, you like yourself more. That was great for me in the physical fitness era. And by the way, um, not only did it change my body, but also it had me believe in myself a little bit more. Okay, so write this down. You'll never out earn your own self-worth and you'll never out earn your own self-image. Every morning I'd look at myself and I'd be like, do I look like I'm the person that I wanna become? And I just couldn't see it, I just didn't see it. And today, I'm finally proud of myself. And I want to tell you, physical fitness, I think, got me to that place. That was a part of my brand. Everywhere I go, people know Elliot Army, our brand, Elliot Army. We are fit. We take care of ourselves. We believe in physical fitness. And by the way, that, that's number one. That was important. I wanted to look in the mirror and see a different me. I wanted to be proud of me. Let's go to step two. What did one elevate me into? 
too. Hey guys, I would love to personally invite you to come train out with me. I'm gonna be coached by my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi, June 13th, 14th, and 15th, right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. All you have to do is have trained with me at least on a training course before. So if you're watching this, if you've purchased one of my training courses before, you qualify for this. By the way, it's free. It doesn't cost you any money. It's absolutely free. So what does that mean? That means if you're watching this and you've trained with me, I'm not gonna charge you anything. I want you to come train with me. I want you to come out to Scottsdale, Arizona. You're going to train with me while I get coached from my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi. It's going to be three days straight. This room is going to be filled with about 500 people that are raging fans of what the LA group stands for is the core values, the standards and winning and kicking ass. And if that's you, you're going to be with these like-minded people and you're going to be with me while I coach. I love you guys. It's something that I've never done before, but it's a private invite for those who have trained with me. So if you want to come to this, just text the number 918-210-02. Write it down. It's very simple. 918 210 0254. Shoot me a text. Say, hey, Andy, my name's John Watson. I did buy your training course, you know, a year ago. I would love to come train with you on these three days with you and your company while you're getting coached. I'd love to spend that time with you. If that's you, boom, we'll send you over an invitation. It's limited seating, only 450 to 500 people, and then we're cutting it off. Let's get back to the video. Which is mental fitness. You know, like, think about it. Physical mental, just like there's physical fitness, there's mental fitness. I want, I want you to write this down. In order to get mental fitness, right, all you have to do is intentionally do things that are hard every single day. That's it. Do you guys have anything in your life that you're proud of that was easy to get? Me neither. Okay, so we know that the hard stuff pays off. We know that the hard stuff makes us respect ourselves more. We know that the hard stuff um, leads us to actually being mentally strong, to be able to push through when life strikes us and things get tough. So I want you to think about this right now. How many people quit in business? How many people quit too soon? How many people lose their edge? How many people, when they don't go work out in the morning, and by the way, how did I build my brand with this? It was easy. I became physically fit. I built my, my culture, my company, Elliot Army. Our standard was fitness. And then what did we do? We have all these other people in the world that are getting healthier. They became a part of our audience and our customers and we do business. They are like us, we are like them. People that were 100 pounds overweight are losing those 100 pounds. People that were always in good shape, they love us. They're like, oh, I can agree with that. I'm in good shape. It was a great thing for the world to know that that was a standard in the brand that I believed in. And then the mental fitness. I mean, guys, listen, I've never seen anybody that works out, wakes up before everybody in the morning, takes care of themselves, that's depressed. I just don't know many people. I know people that when they don't take care of themselves, they get depressed. So mental fitness was a big deal for me. One of the main reasons why a lot of people don't make it is because they can't control the thoughts in their own head. And if I can't give myself an hour a day to work out in the morning, my mental fitness probably won't be very good because I haven't really worked on myself anymore. Remember Jim Rohn when I was younger, he said, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Like most people just work really hard on their job, but they never really work hard on themselves. So I wanted to believe that. And he said, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. And I'm like, man, okay. So I just gotta get better and everything's gonna elevate. So my brand is all about self-development, self-improvement. So what do I gotta do? I gotta be the standard. When I go talk to a customer, I have the unfair advantage if I'm in shape and you're not. It's just the truth. I have an upper hand. Mental fitness. The more I believe in myself, law of attraction, it's manifestation the better my life becomes. I see the good in everything. By the way, when I work out, I put myself in a better mood for the next 12 hours. What does that do for my mental fitness? Everything, now I'm ready to go do what? Do step three, crush it in business. I tell everybody, you can have whatever you want in this world. If you live in the United States, they print free money. If you can't get it, I would tell you, follow my steps and this is what we teach in our company and this is what my brand is. Stay physically fit, that right there will lead you into mental fitness. And if you take care of your mental fitness, then you go to business. Man, now it's over. Think about it. Every day, I don't know if you guys follow me on social media, Instagram, Instagram, you know, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn. I don't know where you're at. But what I know is if you see me, I'm always getting the reps in. I'm always training. Training isn't something you did. It's not like, oh, I did that training class. It's something you do every single day until you die. You got to keep self-developing. I can show you a little clip right here of me getting coached by Dean Graciosi, which is Tony Robbins' CEO. I know you guys all know who Tony Robbins is. Well, this is Dean Graciosi. This is his CEO. That's my personal coach. Obviously, my goals every day is two things. Number one, try to figure out how to do what I do the best in the world so I can change as many people's lives as possible. Um, secondly, um, I want to try to figure out how to kick my own ass. 
I know I have holes. I know I have holes, right? And I don't mean holes like there's a hole, like there's a bucket of cash, help me find the money. I mean, I have holes in the way that I communicate. And my goal is to get the message across to as many people as possible that they can have this this life for them and their family. Um, But I know I'm missing something, right? Well, we're all missing something. So like, (laughs) but you're always in search for it. And I think that's why you're growing so fast. Can I be really candid? Like, yeah, I mean, we've been talking here. I've been hanging yeah, the out cold hard truth is what I yeah, tell no, everybody but, in this world. So I think. Um, but it's not always easy to share, and it's not always easy to hear. And, and and I'll back up by saying some of the hardest things to get out of are a success trap. Mm. Dude, five years ago you were a car salesman, and now you have a hundred employees. You have a nine figure business. You're impacting people all over the world. What hundred million people watch mm. your videos on a regular basis? I don't know if that's monthly or fifty million. It's insane. So. The reason I'm pre-framing that is because what you're doing is building something that most people can't, right? So what I'm about to say could be like, whatever, whatever, Dean, like don't, I went from zero to nothing. Like, Don't feed something. me ice but, cream. I want the truth for but sure. I have to tell you, so I've seen your videos. I, have to, I told you this. I'm not telling you this for the first time, but I've seen your videos and a couple people say, this Andy Elliott, man, he's, he's doing really well. I, I watched some of your videos and um, best sales training I've ever seen hammering people like getting right after them in a way that I think this world has been lacking for a while like you're not politically correct you mm-hmm. you don't hold back and then a couple of people came to me and said do you know Andy's story like he, he got your stuff years ago and he talks amazing about it. like you got to meet this guy and by the third time someone said you should meet Andy and I knew you were here in Scottsdale um, I said all right we, sh- we should connect this guy and before I did I watched a couple extra videos and I called a couple people and a buddy of mine, somebody we both know, said, seems like a good guy, man, but I was at an event and he's really harsh on some people, mm-hmm. right? Like I watched him on stage, he had a guy take his shirt off, kind of embarrassed the dude. And he's like, he inspired a lot of people, but I feel like he might've crushed some souls. And I heard this most amazing man, best trainer, and I heard some of that. And what my wife and I always do is, we're gonna take it for what we think. So I, I'm just gonna share that with you. I love it. So that's why you're my coach. I was half like, should I go to dinner or should I not? I just want to be honest with you. And I'm like, let's go. We go to dinner and I'm completely, I, I just, you got to hear this completely blown away because I've been in this industry long enough and I've been, I've met a lot of people that, you know, sometimes you got to watch when you meet your heroes, you hear that story, right? Mm-hmm. And I've said this before, the guy that's teaching people how to be in relationships, yelling at his spouse or the guy teaching, you know, personal development is mean to other like you just got to watch behind the scene I didn't know what to expect and I show up and I and this guy that's flirting with his wife can't keep his hands off his wife can't stop talking about his kids can't stop talking about the impact you want to make on the world that it's not you about about you anymore it's about them like everything like I, I was just blown away I sat there with my mouth open I was pinching my wife under the table I'm like it's a guy that freaking cares at the deepest level and this is a hard one because what you're doing in the, like you shouldn't stop what you're doing because you're, you showed me the numbers. You're growing a million people a month, people following you and they're being inspired. We came here today. I brought my son and his friend, his friend follows you. Like how amazing is that? So for me to say this could, but I, I believe that people got to see more of that other side of you. Mm. I just, I don't think you scare away a guy that wants the, you know, the, the driver, the David Goggins type feel of like, let's just F and do this, no stop, this is my man, make me do it, I'm gonna lose the way. I want you to inspire that. But I would say in between that, I think people need to see the man you've become. And you've also been transparent with me and talked about your past and the man you used to be is dead and the man you are today. And I truly, I want you to know, I truly see it. I, I think my wife's got the best bullshit meter of any human I've ever met. We got done with dinner, she's like, there are people we could, like, I believe everything he said and what his wife said, and I, and I still feel that way. But I think the, the only thing I'd say is be careful when you inspire the majority, but there's a small majority that feel I could never be that man. I can never mm. be Andy Elliott. I'm never gonna have a six pack. I'm never gonna be able to work that hard. I'm never gonna be that good on the phone because that person might just go into the abyss going, that's too much for me. And I think if you just shift a little, 
when that guy's go, I, I can get emotional thinking about that person because you could think about the guy that goes, man, this group, look at all these guys that work for them. They're all looking good. They're in a, they're ripped in their black shirts. And there's a small group that are going, I'm good, man. I'm good. And uh, I don't know why I get emotional with stuff like this, but I think that's the group with just a little shift. The man that I saw at dinner, you stop and go, wait a minute. And you go over and you grab that guy and say, no, you're in here too. Mm. You belong here too, bro. You belong here too. When you get that, I, I don't know if your business is going to grow, man, but you're going to grow. And, and I, think, I think there's no stopping you. It's crazy. Yeah, when my, my life changed, uh, I remember I got pissed off because I hated who I was. So I think uh, he called it a success trap. Yeah. Getting upset and, you know, controlled anger, right? Like, ah, I'm going to get this. Um, that, that I wasn't alive. I felt like I was dead. And then when I felt that, it made me feel alive because, like, we're human beings. I had these feelings. And I'm like, that's what allowed me to catapult forward, that momentum. I kept building from yeah. that. I don't want to be... You know, it's like people run to what they want or they run from who they don't want to be. be. Yeah, and I was running from who I didn't want to be anymore because yeah. I hated that guy. And so, like, I feel like I think I just try to, I need to be more, not be so one-dimensional. Yeah, and, and please don't. I, there, there's people watching right now saying, Dean, shut up. I love Andy exactly the way he is. Kick my ass, man. Be the boots. You know the the drill sergeant, right? And and most of us need that. So please, no, I'm not trying no, to make the you heart. soft. Yeah, but you can heart. be that guy, that hard drill sergeant, the man you are that get people to take that action. Mm -hmm. And also, if it, I just could feel a little bit of that heart that I got to see, I think mm -hmm. there's another group of people that go, oh, yeah, this guy's for me too. Yeah, we we built our team and we built our loyalty and we built everything we had, just by showing people more love than they've ever gotten from anything but, in but this I world. But I see it here. Yeah, I see it here, and I know I see it in your videos. Please, and I haven't watched a million of your videos. Oh yeah, but I just think you could. You but could the have a little bit more of that. Yeah, I agree. Like wearing my heart on my sleeve. Yeah. And making sure that you know, I understand that we're all in different places, and uh, you know, it's just. Yeah, don't stop being you, man. Just add a little extra. So do you think it's like, it's like if I have a hundred percent intensity, right? Yeah. Is it like fifty yeah, so percent? Like yeah. If it was like, if this is you on stage, right? And I've watched you on stage now a couple times because we were at similar events. And this is what you do from here to here, right? And your level of intensity is 100% all the way. I don't think you shift any of that. Okay. Right? But I think there's moments that you will feel like, and it just, it happened over time for me. Like, there are moments where I'll be on stage and I feel like I'm connecting with 90% of the audience and something in my brain goes, you're missing some people, bro. Mm -hmm. you're, you're leaving them behind. And, and I, instead of giving you some formula, 19 minutes in, you should, I think as you're, you're in this feel and you want to just jack them up and you want them to take action, I would look around and find the guy that you could tell. It's like, like, and just talk to him for just 1%. Just talk to him for, like stop in the middle of your thing and just think of that guy and go, I also know I get a little intense. I know I get intense. I know I'm fired up but my heart is to serve, and this is the only way I know how to serve. And I wanna serve you too. Yeah, you. I want you with me too. I'm not too much for you. I'm not too far distant from you. I had feelings just like you. And just think of that, mm. that maybe just a few times, be you, be you, be you, be you. But in these couple of moments, I think, I think you're gonna fall Don't in love Don't leave with anybody it. out. I just think you're gonna fall in love with it, and you're gonna watch yeah. somebody who is like, this guy's a little much, or his eyes are down, or she's her eyes are down, they can't do it, and you're gonna watch them light up? Talk about addicting. Then you'll, then, then you'll find your group. I don't want, I'm not trying to make you meet it. I have my style, you have yours, you know? Yeah, this is good. Hey guys, first of all, I know that some of you are watching this right now, and um, this is life changing. This is truly life changing. Some people need a little more of my intensity, and they run yep. this way all the time, right? And so it would be reverse. Absolutely. Right? Um, everybody has a hole. This hole right here, this hole right here, I, I, I preach my message, which is just raise your standards, human excellence, you know, be a better person, be a better father, be a better husband, be a better business leader. You do. Um, you know, be, be better tribe. to. You do that with your whole tribe. Yeah, be better to your, your community. But, you know, maybe I haven't earned the right to sometimes be that intense yet. So if it's somebody that's new yet, if they don't know I have that side, um, even though that what I have may be amazing for them, 
Um, they won't even hear me because I'm not connecting. He coaches me. He pushes me. He teaches me, you know, success traps. Andy, don't get caught in this success trap. Don't get caught in this trap. There's a way to grow. Don't believe that that's the end. The choke on everything in this world is the leadership. If you change the psychology of the leadership, everything changes. He teaches me so many things and it just keeps me growing like this. And I'm here to share it with you guys. But I will tell you, this coaching, um, these things that I've learned, these three things that I just explained to you, they've helped me build my brand today of Elliot Army. And the evolution of Elliot Army continues to build, and just like you're gonna continue to build your business. Our customers, we grow by hundreds of thousands of customers. I didn't say a thousand customers, I said hundreds of thousands of customers almost every month. How do we do it? We do it with a brand. Now, in the beginning of the brand, yeah, it's super hard to build your brand. You gotta get yourself out there. People need to find evidence that you are who you say you are or find evidence that you're gonna be consistent and be around for a while, okay? But you gotta build a brand, guys. You're gonna look up and if you don't build a brand, you're gonna see doors that you wanted to open never open. You're gonna see relationships that you wanted to have never have. You're gonna see customers that you could have helped that will never become your customers. I know it starts slow, but if you start now, you'll look up next year and you'll be really far down the road. So guys, you watching this video right now, I wanna tell you these are some of the core values of things that I implemented into building my brand when I was doing my coaching with Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins. It really helped me a lot and it helped me go to the next level. So I hope some of these things that I've shared with you today will help you go to another level. Remember this, who you are, who are you? Does everybody know who you are? Yes, what you do, Okay, what do you do? Does everybody know what you do? Let's be clear, do they know? How great are you at what you do? Are you the best? If you are, shouldn't everybody know? And then everybody needs to know, how do they get a hold of you? How do they find you? How do they follow you? Who you are, what you do, how great you are, what you do, and where you're at. If you can get those things out there and you can build some core values and standards in which you live by, I promise you, you'll build a great brand and that'll bleed into having a great business. Guys, I love you guys. Make sure you watch this video again if you don't understand it or share it with somebody who needs to see it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.